128 new moons discovered by Saturn Astronomers have discovered 128 new moons orbiting Saturn. The planet now has 274 known moons almost twice as many as all other planets in the solar system combined. For some time, Jupiter was considered a planet, around the most moons in the solar system orbit. This state lasted until May 2023. 62 new natural satellites were discovered Saturn. Now another 128 objects have been added to this, which together gives 274 moons. Jupiter with its 95 natural satellites is in second place in this the ranking. Behind the discovery is a team led by Edward Ashton Academia Sinica in Taipei, Taiwan. Astronomers in their work used the Canadian French Hawaii Telescope in Hawaii, Canada France Hawaii Telescope, CFHT. It also helped by the team a few years ago, a technique to detect small celestial bodies. It involves an analysis of the huge number of photos, which the sequences are sliding at the estimated rate at which the alleged moon as it moves. Thanks to this shift, the images overlap, which it amplifies the signal and allows you to see objects invisible to individual objects the photographs. All new moons are 2 to 4 kilometers in diameter and hundreds of millions, maybe billions of years ago, were created, as a result of collisions of larger objects. These are small, floating stones in space, so some people may not consider this a great achievement. I believe however, it is important to have a catalogue of all objects in the layout solar, Ashton said. The discovered objects belong to three groups classified as irregular, Inuit, Gallic, and Norse. These groups orbit the planet in large, elliptical orbits inclined relative to regular moons of the planet. Some also orbit in the opposite direction to the rotation of Saturn. Most of the new moons belong to the Norse cluster. Newly discovered moons have been recognized by International Astronomical Union IAU, and Ashton and his team will now have the right to give their names. Ashton, who is Canadian, admitted to turning to representative of the indigenous people of Canada for suggestions, but also considers the idea some kind of public name contest. As advances in telescope technology allow us seeing smaller and smaller objects, astronomers are facing a problem like a small one could there be an object to still call it the moon, not a plain rock? Researchers they admit that the definition of the moon itself is very broad. There are no one's requirements for the shape, weight, diameter, or composition of the object. He must have a stable orbit around another larger body that is not a star. So in the meantime, planets, dwarf planets, and even asteroids can have their own moons. However, to consider a given object as a natural satellite, it must be tracked by a long time. Scientists need to be sure that the orbit of the celestial body is its stable. Mike Alex Anderson of the Minor Planet Center, which registers planetary bodies for the IAU say it's likely in our solar system there are still many undiscovered moons and technological advances in the end will reveal them. He also adds that soon decisions will have to be made, it is considered the moon and what is not. I know that the IAU has decided that because of the number of moons that probably exist will not be a priority treat to call anything less than one kilometer. They will probably only give a name if the spacecraft visits the data the object, Alex Anderson said. According to Ashatun, Saturn alone can have more than a thousand moons, even aside from the smaller, rocky objects in the rings the planets.